There will be hardship, there will be difficulty. We have one gift, many gifts, but one, number one. We have the gift of faith. We believe in the Almighty. We know good days will always come after the difficult days, the days when we thought we were broken and there is no way out. Allah Almighty suddenly opens doors and suddenly we see nearly all of us, perhaps, we may have had days when we really felt like there was no way out. It was tough. It is so hard. I just wish that this earth could open and swallow me. And today you're sitting and you're smiling and saying, you know what? All those problems were solved. Who solved them? How did they resolve? It was a miracle. Was it not Allah? So that means if you are going through that today, don't worry, tomorrow a day will come when you will even forget about what happened. And if you remember, it will just be slightly, not much. Allah will open your doors. Allah will bless you. Keep trying, keep praying, keep doing better because we are weak. Environment, we know how it is. The pressures of society, community, those who are around us. The world is changing on a daily basis. Every moment the world is developing, changing. It's not getting any better. Things are getting tougher, but your faith keeps you going. I know Allah has a plan. Secondly, another gift of Allah is we are in it together. How's that? We are in it together. When you have another person struggling and the other one struggling, someone was asking me, I heard there's going to be a credit crunch and I heard there's going to be a recession. And I heard, I said, well, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. I don't want to speculate. Subhanallah. If you're going to suffer, I'm going to suffer with you, subhanallah. And if anything, we're going to help each other. That's what it's going to be. I'm surviving, you're surviving. If I go down, we go down together, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. Look at the people struggling in Pakistan. Look at them struggling in Afghanistan and other places right now as we speak with the floods and so much more. To be honest, the fact that there are so many of them together, it makes it a little bit easier for them even before the aid comes from afar. May Allah use us to help them. May Allah use us to help even in a small way. And may Allah make it easy for them. But imagine if you're the only one and everyone else is gone. That would be tough. That would be really, really difficult. May Allah protect all of us. So one of the gifts of Allah is that we're together. You have someone, you have people around you. Sometimes you might have a bad relationship with those who are living immediately around you, but you can always navigate through that by turning to the Almighty. Perhaps depending on what the matter is, what the situation is, if the communication is not helping, if you're involving others has not helped, you may want to detach a little bit for your sanity. For your sanity, like I say, it depends what the matter is. You don't just break your home for a small thing. You don't just run away because someone disagreed with one or two things about you and your life. Not at all. Because you might go away and there might be 20 things that will go wrong. Where you were, there were only two things wrong. So thank Allah. Don't throw a gift that Allah has given you. Because if you do that, He might not give you another one. Who knows? So appreciate what you have. But if it is really difficult, if it is almost impossible, if it is really so hard for you to take that it is starting to affect you in a huge way, remember, and if there is no improvement and you're, not, you're noticing there's nothing, Allah has shown you a way out. You can go further. You might want to detach no matter what. You might want to go and live on your own perhaps if you can afford it. You might want to seek the help of someone further apart. That also is a favor of Allah. At the end of the day, He's created us such that we have within us an element of care for one another. If only you recognize your maker.